Now we have a classical system that is in uh, thermal contact with a heat reservoir. Uh, and we would like to know the probability of finding the system in a state R of energy E sub R, the corresponding energy E sub R. So uh, a system A which is described classically is what we're considering. It is in thermal equilibrium with a heat reservoir The heat reservoir is at absolute temperature uh, T and absolute temperature by definition is Boltzmann constant beta to power uh, minus 1. Uh, P sub R which is the probability of finding the system in state R with uh, energy E sub R. This probability has to be proportional to e to the minus beta e r that is our canonical uh, distribution and this energy e sub r is a function of the coordinates and corresponding momenta of the system so we have f uh, coordinates position uh, coordinates and we have F corresponding momenta. Now the related question is uh, this probability density because we have continuous variables P and Q here we should really talk about the probability density. The probability density uh, P as a function of q1, q2, qf, p1, p2, pf multiplied by dq1, dq2, dqf, dp1, dp2, dpf basically uh, this is the probability uh, that system A is found to have its coordinates in the range q1 to q1 plus dq1 all the way up to qf to qf plus dqf and momenta in the range p1 to p1 plus dp1 pf to pf plus dpf so i choose a dp and a dq in which i'm trying to find the momenta and the position and as you can see here this dp and dq that i'm choosing uh, can be uh, bigger than delta p or delta q so that uh, this window that I'm defining here in the phase space contains 
uh, many cells. So it's uh, the the QDP area can have uh, many area uh, uh, sub areas H zero, which is given by uh, delta Q times delta P, and I'm assuming that the energy does not change appreciably if I go from uh, QI to QI plus dQI. So given that uh, the energy of system A energy E of system A does not change appreciably for the range of values QI to QI plus DQI for uh, position coordinates and for momenta PI to PI plus uh, DQI. And this DQI that I'm choosing is uh, much greater than delta QI. And this DPI that I'm choosing is much greater than delta PI, where delta Q1 multiplied by delta Q2, delta QF, delta P1, delta P2, delta PF gives me the volume of one cell, H0, to the power F. Uh, because in each cell inside this accessible uh, region, I have the same probability. I can uh, add the probabilities. So due to the postulate of uh, equal a, a priori probabilities for a classical system, each accessible cell has the same uh, likelihood uh, at equilibrium. So since in each cell the probability is the same, we will find that uh, the probability density function q1 to qf, uh, p1 to pf, dq1, dqf, dp1 to dpf is proportional to e to the minus beta er for the energy of the system is er and the corresponding Position and momenta are in this range uh, given by the number of cells in the range dq1 to dpf uh, product divided by h0 to the f. So this value dq1, dq2, dqf, dp1, dp2, dpf divided by delta Q1, delta Q2, delta QF, delta P1, delta P2, delta PF is dQ1 to dPF product divided by H0 to the power F. That gives me number of cells in this range, in the given range. Because each cell has equal likelihood, in order to calculate the probability of having a range of values, I have to multiply the Boltzmann factor with the uh, number of cells in that range. So uh, the probability density function Q1 to PF, DQ1 to dpf will be a constant the constant will be 1 over h0 to f e to the minus beta er which is my Boltzmann factor dq1 to dpf so c is a constant involving h0 to the power f uh, so, 
this is going to be the probability density function for a classical system that is in contact with a heat reservoir at absolute temperature T. And because this probability distribution function has to be normalized, uh, we should have from the normalization condition, if I consider all possible ranges, uh, the integral of the probability distribution function Q1 to Pf dQ1 to dPf has to be equal to 1, which is going to tell us that this proportionality constant C, C to the power minus 1, is going to be equal to the integral e to the minus beta energy as a function of Q1 to Pf, dQ1 to dPf. So I consider all possible uh, Q and P values and their corresponding energies so that I will get uh, the total uh, probability equal to 1 which is my normalization condition here that gives me the value of this constant C. So uh, let's summarize what we said here. We have a system A that is a classical system. It is described classically it is in thermal equilibrium <clears throat> when in thermal contact with a heat reservoir at absolute temperature T, which is K beta to minus 1. K is Boltzmann constant. The probability of finding the system in a state R with a corresponding energy E sub R is proportional to the Boltzmann factor E to the minus beta E R. This is our canonical distribution canonical distribution. Now, for a continuous variable Q and P, the probability density of finding a range of values for QI to QI plus DQI and PI to PI plus DPI, I have to consider the number of uh, cells that are in this range. Because I have a unit cell given by delta Q times delta P is equal to H0 with area H0, I have to divide this area dQ dP with H0 for each pair of Q and P values. So this is going to give me dQ1 to dPF product divided by H0 to the F that is equal to the number of cells in this range. Why am I doing this? Because the probability of having uh, the system in one cell is the same for all accessible cells. All accessible cells corresponding to the energy E of the system. So I find that this probability is given by the Boltzmann factor multiplied by dQ1 to dPf product and some constant C and this constant C must be involving H0 to F. So how does this compare to a degenerate quantum system? So uh, if you remember, this is uh, similar to uh, the degenerate quantum system where I have the probability of having a state R is proportional to the number of accessible states for energies in the range E to E plus delta E uh, multiplied by the Boltzmann factor e to the minus beta e r. So this was the situation for a degenerate uh, quantum system where I have more than one accessible state corresponding to a given energy. Uh, the same situation applies to a classical system. The number of cells, accessible cells, omega e r is replaced by in the classical system, it is replaced by number of accessible cells. And that would be equal to dQ1 
dpf divided by h0 to the power f so it's completely analogous to the situation we have discussed in the quantum systems so therefore the probability density function is given by uh, a constant c multiplied by the boltzmann factor uh, and uh, this has to be normalized so that this constant c is uh, 1 over c is equal to the integral over all possible q and p values and all possible corresponding energies uh, e to the minus beta e q1 to pf dq1 to dpf so if it's if it's for a given energy e that the system has to have this energy e then i have to consider all possible q and p uh, ranges uh, that will give me uh, the all possible scenarios. So basically, I have to consider uh, the full space of values of Q and P combinations uh, because the system has to be in one of those states. The system is given that the system has to be in one of these cells in this phase space i have to consider all possible p and q values and their corresponding energies uh, to get the total probability equal to one so that is going to be my normalization condition